Hey YouTube, my name is Charisma and my channel is Charisma for You and I do videos on fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and a little bit of everything else. So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how I keep my hair dry while swimming in the pool, so stay tuned. This is an updated video on how I keep my hair dry while swimming in the pool. I have several videos on how I've done this, but I'm just updating you guys because you have lots of questions and lots of you have written into me letting me know you've tried the method and you love it and I'm just so, so happy. So check out my playlist on how I overcame chlorine damage. Um, I'm a beginner swimmer and when I started swimming about a year and a half ago, almost two years now, I just wore one swim cap and then when I would get in the pool, my hair would still get wet and I was exposing my hair to chlorine every single day and it damaged the ends of my hair. I have those videos on my playlist so check out the playlist about how I overcame chlorine damage. Basically I cut off my ends gradually, kept up with my deep conditions. Now my hair has um, flourished really well. It's grown out. It's st I'm still waiting for some more length but it's full now. The ends are not thin and damaged like they were. Again check out my video on that. So today I'm going to teach you how to do the same because I want you to take care of your natural hair and I want you to be able to swim swim and still keep your hair dry. How I keep my hair dry is I layer my cap. So I use a, about five layers to um, you know, keep my hair dry and this has worked. Once I started using this method, my hair did not get dry. Every now and then if I didn't put the caps on right or whatever it have you, a little bit of water may have seeped in but it was only on the edges and I was fine because again there's five layers so by the time the actual chlorine hits my hair it's not really going to hit my hair. There's five layers under it. So let me show you the five layers that I use. This is the first layer and this is a, a, a hair sock head wrap that I make. I design them, I put them on my Etsy shop. I have so many different designs and they're versatile. You can use them as a headband, head wrap, sleep cap, everything. Those of you who have purchased from me, I've been in the business for quite some time. Thank you so much, but check out my shop if you don't know what I'm talking about. So before I put the layers on, usually my hair is in braids, a protective style like it is now. And then I have my hair in four braids and I just pin it up because I don't want the ends of my hair to hit to get any chlorine damage if water were to seep in. So I put I pin them all up. So the first layer that I use and pardon the noise, I live in New York City, I cannot get over <laughs> the traffic and all of that. So this is the first layer which I just put on like this. And again, you can find these on my Etsy shop. The back is out and so you just Tuck it in just like that. Okay, so that's layer number one. Layer number two is a regular swim cap that doesn't have the ears. And I just put it on like this. And I have long nails, so I'm used to it. I just cut them down, actually. They, they were longer. And I put it over that first layer. So you see the first layer is here. And I'm just making sure that my edges are covered. I'm stretching this down to make sure that first layer is on just like that and then if this sticks out just you know try to adjust it so my third layer will be a regular shower cap I'm pretty sure you have this in your house I put it over just like this and now you're gonna have some room in it so I just take out all the air that's in there and then gather it and try to make it flat as best as I can Guys, this is not rocket science. It's very easy. A lot of you can do this, but you complain on my channel all the time about how you tried it, you couldn't do it. Just try your best to follow instructions. You see, just I put this over. Now this is for extra protection of the edges. I will not guarantee that no water will get in because some of you wanted me to guarantee that to you. but. This definitely will help, it has helped me. So you see, this is how I do it. Now, this is the final layer, and this is the swim cap with the ears. Again, all the links will be in the description to where you can purchase all of these items. And you see right here, this is the last layer. I pull this over my ears, 
and I get an instant facelift <laughs> with it. Make sure the back is covered. I like do like this so no air comes in. And that's it guys, I put on my goggles. I usually just put my goggles on just like this on the top and then when I get in the water, like this. So this is everything that I have. This is not considered a layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go swimming. I'm gonna show you how I go under the water and come up. I'm the one holding the camera, so I'm gonna do the best that I can. If I could do another video where someone else is holding the camera, I will do that. But for now, this is what I can do to help you. So check this out. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna show you how my hair is after I've gone swimming, taking off these layers. And I usually can tell if water seeped under by how this feels, and this is dry. So I'm pretty good. Now I did go in the sauna afterwards, so my hair might be a little sweaty and moist, but that's not from the water. That will most likely be from the sauna. So I'm taking off the layers, as you can see. And I feel a little bit of moisture, but again, I believe that's from the sauna because I kept this on when I went. Now when I go on vacation, I'll try to do a video of me going in the water and everything will be taped like right there so you can see, but until then, I cannot do that. This is the best that I can do, so I hope you appreciate it. So now, I'm just taking out my hair. So you can see, my hair feels pretty, it feels moist, but it's not wet, and it's not even damp. So, we'll see. It's time for me to wash my hair, but you see, my hair is dry for the most part. It's dry, I gotta wash my hair, so don't mind me. But yeah, my hair is dry. I'll take out the back for you guys. I really don't feel like doing it, but I wanna show you. You see? So that's my hair. I need to wash it, but that's basically it. It's dry. You see the ends? Check out my hair videos. So that's how I basically keep my hair dry when I go to the pool. It's looking a little crazy right now, so <laughs> I just wanted to show you. So check out my Etsy shop if you wanna buy satin head wraps, bonnets, satin scarves, lock wraps, head wraps. I make them all by myself, custom by hand. They are luxury quality, very, very good quality. Look at my Etsy reviews. I've been in the business for years. I will be expanding with some new products soon, swimwear and swim caps. So just be on the lookout. I will be expanding soon. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I was able to help. And for those of you who ask if it, you know, it's uncomfortable, to layer all those caps, yes, it can be at first, but you'll get used to it, and nine out of 10 times, I can promise you, you're probably not in the pool every single day. If you are, then just, you'll get used to it. It's better to not have your hair damaged than to you know, risk damaging your hair. But if you can't deal with the five layers, I don't know what to tell you, but guys, this works for me and I'm gonna keep doing it, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> so check out my Etsy shop, check out my online store for lip gloss, charismaforyou.com, my cosmetics, check out my Instagram, and continue to follow my channel because I have more hair videos coming for you guys, more fashion videos, more lifestyle vlogs, and you're not gonna wanna miss out. I love you all, thank you for watching.